going, guys? Me, different Decker Films here. Welcome back to another episode of NHL 16. I almost, I almost said NHL 17. That's how excited I am for it. Um, anyway, you can see the playoff bracket right now, and uh, this is the team we're going to be going up against. It is the Toronto Maple Leafs, and uh, yeah, their their team is a little bit stacked. I might have possibly given them Patrick Marlowe right in the middle of the season. Um, because he wasn't doing anything for us, and I wasted all those draft picks and crap on him, and he just didn't do anything. So now he's with Toronto, and uh, yeah, this is not going to be good. So right here, it's towards the end of the first period. This is a pass over to Horton. Horton is going to go around, pass one to the middle, fires, and he scores! And that is going to be Beck. Beck is a defenseman, I believe, and he came the whole way down and just put it in right through Rask's legs. And no, he's a left winger, I lied. Anyway, this is gonna be now uh, about in the middle of the second period. Uh, the, they're on a power play and we need to get it out of here to where Krug passes, but it is not out and it fires, it fires it again. Two big saves by Tuka Rask, now it's over to Riley and now over to the middle. And there's another goal just like that, guys. It is two nothing and we're just getting manhandled in this game. That is going to be Joffrey Lupel, uh, number 19 right there, and he just puts it right by Rask. So now we need something big. This is Bergeron, back to McQuaid, and now it's going to be Louis Erickson's shot, and Erickson's shot actually gets past uh, Reimer. Who is, is, is it Reimer or is it Bernier? I don't know. I, I don't even know the Toronto goalies anymore. Who the freak is in goal? That's, that's what I want to know. Oh, it's Bernier. All right, all right, all right. Bern, Bernier. Um... I don't know why I said Reimer. Uh, yeah, Bernier is uh, going to be their goalie, and uh, we actually end up losing this game after all that. We were down one. I tried so hard to score, but uh, nothing happened. So now we're here in Toronto, or no, we're in Boston once again for game two. So we, we lost the last one at home, and we pretty much need to win this one. They stole a game from us, which is not good. This is Leo Komarov. Back to James Van Riemsdyk, and just like that, James Van Riemsdyk puts it past them, and I need to sneeze so badly right now. Oh, my God. Oh, that was the his sneeze I think I've ever done. I tried so hard, and I'm sorry about the unprofessionality. I just woke up. I literally just woke up. Right here, it's going to be Louis Erickson. Oh, my God. Louis Erickson after the pass from Bergeron. And just like that, guys, we are tied here at the TD Garden. And uh, what a freaking goal that was. That was that was just perfectly executed right across the crease. And Erickson is there to bury it. That's because of how good he is. This is now Riley being pressured by Johansson. Parito over to... Um, uh, uh, Johansson is denied away and are passing it around. Johansson gets taken down. He's going to dump it out to Parenzo. Parenzo back to Chara. Over to Krejci. That pass is broken up. This is uh, Johansson back to Krejci. And Krejci fires one and scores! Well, what a fluke goal. That I don't even know how that squeaked by Bernier. That's because he's a bad goaltender. And uh, wow, that was just absolutely incredible. That goal, that was that was just highway robbery right there. That was that was freaking robbed. All right, that that was worse than Malcolm Butler picking off Russell Wilson in the Super Bowl. I mean, that was a rob, but this was robbed as well. But there, right there, Jeffrey Lupul strikes again. This is the second goal in the series for him, and uh, that that freaking sucks. So he scored the first game, he scored the second game, and he's doing pretty good for their team right now. Right there, that's a nice blocked shot, and right here, this is going to be um, P.A. Parent. So now he has a little bit of space, see what he can do. He's going to pass it over to Marcus Johansson, and Marcus Johansson puts it past them in the third period. We're about halfway through it, and that could potentially be the end of the game. We need to hold off Toronto, and oh my god, guys, we might win against Toronto here and even up the series but right here with 11 seconds left this is going to be James Van Reems like he's going to go in and he scores he scores with 7.6 seconds left oh my god Rask how that was like the easiest goal to block too and that was just stupid and now right here with nine minutes uh, left in overtime. This is going to be a pass over to Kamarov, and Kamarov scores! Wait, that was a Kamarov, was it? Who the frick was that? I don't know. Kamarov plays on the right side of your screen, right? Not, not the left. Who the frick was that? His name starts with a K. Oh, it was Kamarov. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, they, they completely just blow right by us there with four goals. They beat us four to three after we go up one. That is something that we need to fix right there all right now we are here in game three and i think i just saw an error on the 
thing. Why did it say game one at the bottom? What the frick? Anyway, this is going to be game three of the series. This is a pass right over, and we are here in Toronto. And just like that, Jeffrey Lupel strikes again. That's three goals in three games, and we cannot stop Lupel for some god dang reason. I don't know how he put that past Rask. Rask needs to freaking play better than that. Right here is going to be Patrick Marlowe now taking it in deep. He puts it one to the middle, and Bergeron mishandles it and gives it right to Tyler Bozak. And Tyler Bozak puts it in the freaking net. Anyway, they are up to nothing now, and it's about midway through the first period, and I, I have a feeling they're about to destroy us. This pass right over the middle, and Rask didn't even jump. He didn't even move as that is deflected off of uh, James Van Riemsdyk, which gives him the freaking goal, and Van Riemsdyk has just been on fire as well, and Rask is just not doing well, guys. Right here, now with four minutes left in the first period, this is going to be hauling, and what is Rask doing? What is Rask doing? A bomb right there, but what was Rask doing, guys? I, I, I switched him out for Malcolm Subban. Why in the world did he come out right there? I don't understand. Why? Can someone explain that to me in the comments? I simply don't understand. That is the flukiest goal I've ever seen. That was Peter Holland with the goal. And now, just like that, guys, they're up 4 nothing. This game is pretty much looking hopeless right here. But Bergeron, okay, okay, okay. Marsh and a Bergeron right there. Quick passing. That was just bad defense by them. And we are going to get a goal with Bergeron. Now, 15 minutes in, or 5 minutes into the second uh, period. And uh, there's just a ripper. And you can't. Come on, you have to be able to stop that. And Subban, that was right there. He was right in front of you. He didn't even shoot it in like any special place. That's just so stupid. Oh my god. Yeah, so it's Morgan Riley with the goal. This is David Posture not coming in, and he scores uh, a goal. And just like that, the Bruins have two. Toronto has five, and we could start a goal. Uh, a goal spree right here, and they almost scored right there, but this is going to be Chara up to Jimmy Hayes. Hayes trying to turn the corner. He gets cut off. He's going to spin back around, fires it in, across the front of the net, and just like that, guys, we are making a comeback here. Does, does this remind anyone of anything? Being up four goals and then freaking losing to Boston? I remember that. Look at Louis Erickson right there. The pass goes through. Patrick Marlowe fires Erickson, and Erickson scores, and he has been the best player in the playoffs in the entire league in terms of goals that is just absolutely amazing we're here on a delayed penalty they're gonna score and pretty much put our hopes and dreams away that is gonna be nazim kadri and uh, that freaking sucked right there so now with eight minutes left in the third period we need to do something but right there that's a terrible play by joe morrow and it's just gonna be a shot and a goal uh by beck beck scores freaking again on this we're just getting destroyed. I don't understand. Our defense is not doing well. Freaking our goalies are just sucking so badly, guys. It's just terrible. Anyway, right here, this is going to be Ronaldo over to someone. Who was that? That was Parento. And Parento. Oh, no. Sorry. Koklachev. Sorry. 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 Koklachev on that fourth line gets it done for us right there. We are now within two with five minutes left. Look at this right here. Nice back pressure from David Krejci. David Krejci's not going to steal it. He's going to skate around, actually, with that speed. And just like that, he skates right around 51. What is happening in this game? We are now within one, guys. This is freaking epic. This might be the most epic game ever. This is Seidenberg over to someone else. And then Jimmy Hayes puts in the rebound off the shot from the defenseman. That was Tori Krug's shot, and then Hayes just put it in the goal. What an act outstanding play right there. Oh, my God. That was, oh, or was it Ryan Spooner? What? It said Spooner touched it. No, no, no. It was Krug's shot, and Spooner might have touched it, and then Hayes put it in. Right here, it's going to be Louis Erickson over Patrice Bergeron. Bergeron, oh, my God. What a dirty snipe to tie up the game. No, that, that we won in overtime. That was our overtime goal. Oh, my God, guys. We win game three in overtime, and so far, we... No team has won at their home place. We uh, lost twice at our home, and they lost once at their home. And look at that score, 8-7. to seven. We took 38 shots, they took 28, and we pretty much dominated them in hits as well. And now here we are in game, excuse me, four of the, the 
the round, the round, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, anyway, this is going to be Bergeron putting it over to Erickson, or er, er, Marsh, and then Erickson fires and scores, and we get an early goal right there with Louis Erickson. My God, Erickson has done literally everything for us uh, in this series in terms of goals. I mean, he is just out there scoring literally everything. This is going to be Joe Mora now. Mora's going to skate it up the right side, pass it over to Ronaldo in the middle. Ronaldo's going to fire one, and it gets by Bernier, and just like that, Zach Ronaldo scores yet another goal. That fourth line has been doing pretty good for us, too. Um, and this is going to be Nazim Kadri. Nazim Kadri's going to skate in. He's going to pass it up to Riley back over, and yeah, I, I couldn't even keep up. That's how fast here passing it that was Dion Phaneuf the now uh the Ottawa Senator in real life he scores right here for Toronto and he just freaking trashed us right there that was a little bit embarrassing look at that save by Tuka Rask oh my god Jeffrey Lupel over back to the point and they're just passing it too fast this is Robada who actually got traded in real life too and this is gonna be someone down low and they're just too much passing. They're just dominating us right here. But Bergeron's going to carry it out. No, he's not. It's going to be intercepted by Riley. And Marlowe right there. And Marlowe puts it past Rask on, like, the easiest save ever. Oh, my God. A freaking grandma that's blind could have freaking saved that. Are you kidding me? How is that not a save? I don't get it, Rask. Why are you so bad sometimes? It's going to be Kadri over to Marlowe. Marlowe's pressured by McQuaid. But right here, this is going to be Kadri now with the puck. Back to Robada. This is going to be Kadri over to Lupul. And Lupul puts it past Rask. And once again, I have no idea what Super Rask is doing. What is he doing? Every single one of these goals have just been fluke goals. It's the, they're not even being shot hard. It's just stupid. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, anyway, this is going to be Patrice Bergeron coming in. And Bergeron scores and ties the game at three. What a good goal right there by Patrice Berger on the captain getting it done. This is going to be Erickson now. Erickson passes over to Marshan. Marshan can put it in, but he's going to dump it back out in front to Erickson. Erickson can't put it in. Erickson now is going to look for a pass. He puts it into Mar... Or, no, wait. Berger puts it back into Louis Erickson. Oh, man, I got confused right there. It was actually Berger on the second time, and he passed it to Erickson, and Erickson gets yet another freaking goal. Louis Erickson has been on fire and this is going to be Marcus Johansson right now. Johansson fires, and he scores. Oh, my God. We go up 5-3 to three with 8.4 seconds left. And once again, we steal another game. Holy crap, guys. That is going to be... Uh, what, what? Look, do you see it? It says, like, game 3 right there at the bottom. What, what's wrong with the screen? Anyway, oh my god, Louis Erickson went to freaking Vancouver in real life, and I couldn't be more angry. I'd rather have Louis Erickson than David Backus, to be honest with you. I don't think David Backus is going to do anything at all. I think that's a terrible trade, and the Bruins are making some really bad decisions in real life right now. Um, but anyway, right there, that's going to be Komarov freaking pointing it past Rask, and Rask is literally just not able to save anything. It's... He's just being bailed out by uh, Bergeron in the offense at this point. This is going to be Chara. Chara's going to skate in. Fires a backhander. And the captain, Zdeno Chara, gets the cheekiest of cheekiest of cheeky goals right past Bernier. Actually, if considering it's Bernier, I don't think it's that cheeky. I think you come to expect it. <laughs> um, sorry, uh, freaking Leafs fans, but it's true. Okay, okay. There, the Rask, there's no chance of him saving that. That was just a good shot by... Who was it? Was it Robada? It was Robada, wasn't it? Robadas or Robada? Uh, Sean Mathias. Okay, I'm stupid. Anyway, this is going to be uh, a Leaf skating in. He's going to circle around. He is going to try to pass it to the middle. This is Horton over to, let me guess, freaking... Uh, no, it was Van Riemsdyk. Oh, my God. Freaking Trevor. Freaking... No, not Trevor. Trevor Van Riemsdyk plays for the Hawks. This is James Van Riemsdyk. Correct, correct, correct. Anyway, this is going to be... Louis, uh, what the frick, David, I was just a Louis Krejci, David Krejci with the backhand, and there's a shot that is missed, we are putting a lot of pressure on him, that pass goes right to freaking Dennis Seidenberg, who puts it past Bernier, and we are now within one of the Toronto Maple Leafs, this is gonna be uh, Louis Erickson now carrying it up the ice, he's gonna try to get past someone, but he's gonna pass instead, and Marchand scores on Bernier, and just like that, guys, we are tied here with 40 seconds left, they beat us with freaking, what was it, 15, or no, it was 7.6 seconds left, we're gonna beat them here with freaking 40 seconds left, 
and uh, we are back in the garden, I forgot to mention, and we, we need to win this game. But right here, there's a nice save by Tuka Rask, but there's pressure all over. Marlowe's looking. He's looking for a pass. You know he is. He passes it back up to Gardner, and this is going to be David Krejci. Krejci has a little bit of room. He had Pasternak, but he didn't pass it. Krejci skates right in, gets his own rebound after a good shot, fires it to freaking Johansson in overtime, and Johansson scores on a nice... Uh, play and that, that's that just proves good things happen when you go to the net look at that he went straight to the net and he put that in I wish my teammates would do that more often in this freaking game they always seem to like not skate as fast as me or something it's just stupid oh my god because they're always so far behind I'm always like it's always a two-on-one situation I don't have any sort of numbers most of the time but uh yeah look at this 15 hits the seven hits 32 shots the 27 shots and we pretty much dominate them and we can put this game away here in game six we are seven and five they are six and three we could oh my god would it hit this is gonna be Rask looking for a pass this is gonna be Tory Crew getting absolutely hammered by Van Riemsdyk this is gonna be Gardner down low fires it oh my god what a freaking cross crease it actually went behind Rask and then the guy put a right past Rask again that was just freaking terrible um yeah, Marcus Johnson, you better clean off your freaking stick. That was Leo Komarov. Anyway, right here, this is going to be a pass to Holland. Holland's pass goes over to Matthias. Oh, my. I can't even keep up with the players on this team. You know why? Because every single one of them are scoring. This is just stupid. And just like that, guys, it is 2-0 about midway through the first period. And I'm pretty much just going to tell you right now, this is not going to be a good game. That was Daniel Winnick. This game is not going to be good. This is uh, going to be Beck now. Beck is going to carry it into the zone, and he's going to get past someone. Fires it uh, to the middle, and the guy puts it right past Tuka Rask. It sort of even rhymes. I manage to do that all the time. And uh, four minutes left in the uh, game. Or no, four minutes left in the first period. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just, this is sort of getting boring, to be honest with you guys. I'm just I'm not feeling it today with, with this series. It's just... Uh, God, it's not that it's not that fun to commentate over. I don't know what I'm gonna do next year, but right here, this is going to be Kadri. Or no, it was gonna be Marlow with the goal, and they're up four nothing. And uh, yeah, th this is this is getting old. I don't really like this series to be honest with you anymore. I'm just doing it to finish it. I guess I don't even know if I will finish it. Um, but yeah. Uh, anyway, this is gonna be. He passed to Riley, and now down low, and they're just scoring on us. This is just the shooting range. That was Jeffrey Lupel, and uh, yeah, this game, oh, wow, this game just freaking sucks right now. Man. I, I, I just, I, oh, my God, there it is again. They keep scoring. They won't stop scoring. I need to freaking shorten this somehow. Just freaking commentating over the people scoring. But right there, the captain Zdeno Chara shoots one pass. And after six goals in a row, uh, our goalie finally freaking does something. Or maybe not. This is going to be Bozak down low. And they get it right past Malcolm Subban. And this is just freaking painful. This is going to be Spooner. And their goalie, Bernier, he served. He saved everything this game. Except that right there. As Spooner gets back on the board. Guys, this is it. Can we freaking make the comeback and put this team away? Stay tuned to find out. This is going to be Tyler Bozak, though. Just pretty much ending it now. It's now 8-2. to two, And, um, yeah, this game, this game is over. And I keep having to sneeze, and it just sucks. Oh, my God. I'm trying not to sneeze so hard. And the yeah, that's going to be the end of the game. Guys, they beat us 8-2. to two, And what is with the thing? What's wrong with the things at the bottom? It says game 6, game 7. What the frick? That, that looks so stupid. All right, anyway. Look how many shots we got. Look at all of our shots. And yet they shot 16 goals. And they scored on literally half of them. They scored 50% of their shots. That is freaking insane. Anyway, this is going to be Marcus Johansson. He stops. He pauses. He dumps it around to David Pasternak. Pasternak's going to fire one. Fires one, his own rebound off of Bernier. Bernier gave up a rebound. And uh, does that remind you of anything that quote? No, no, no. It was Reimer gave up a rebound. Who, who the frick is Reimer and who the frick is Bernier? Is one better than the other? Because to me, they're both just leaves I need to step on. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. There goes my clock. That's how long I've been recording. Over a freaking half an hour. That is freaking insane. Uh, this is going to be 
Uh, Ronaldo right now putting it past uh, Bernier. And just like that, guys, we're up 2 nothing here in the first. And now Ryan Spooner, he has the edge. He has light. He puts it past everyone and puts it right past or no, he puts it right to Hayes, and Hayes makes us go up 3 nothing, and we are going to come out here. I've, I just have a feeling we're going to come out here and destroy him, even though I already know what's going to happen. Um, I just have a feeling that we're going to come out here and destroy him. Oh, my God. Yep, here they come. Here they come. Freaking, who was that? Lupul? Yep, it was. No, it wasn't. It was uh, Nazim Kadri. Am I correct? 43. I don't even know their numbers at this point. Yeah, it is Nazim Kadri. Um... Didn't he get a huge contract extension or something? I don't know. This is going to be Jimmy Hayes now dumping it over. And this line has been getting it done right now. This is going to be um, uh, uh, Bolesky. Bolesky puts one in. And Bolesky actually scores. And I haven't mentioned Matt Bolesky's name in freaking centuries. But yeah, that line, that Hayes, Spooner, Bolesky line now just turned on in this game. They have two goals uh, from what I remember so far. This is going to be uh, Brad Marchand now. Marchand dumps it around to Louis Erickson. Erickson puts one to Marchand, and Marchand scores, and oh my god, guys, we go up 5-1, to one, and this game is looking like it's over, but we are not done scoring, I'll just tell you that. Louis Erickson now puts one right past Bernier, and Erickson, I, it, he definitely has the most goals, because I, I check it after this game, he has the most freaking goals in the Stanley Cup playoffs, so, you know, you can't really can't really <laughs> challenge that this is Matthias and he almost scores right there but we're gonna go the whole way down the ice as that's passed from Erickson over to Bergeron and Bergeron joins the party the freaking future captain of this team scores one and it, we are up uh, seven to one now in this game this game is just over we're in the third period we put one right out in front this is gonna be Leo Komarov now Komarov puts one down to Van Riemsdyk but Johansson actually gets it Johansson back up the other way he puts one around the back to Parento now watch me Parento all right um Bam! What, what a freaking bomb. Why did I pronounce it like that? I don't know. This is going to be uh, David Pasternak. Oh, that's right. I switched up the lines. Parento's not on that line anymore. Parento is on the last line, the fourth line. Um, I don't know why I did that, actually. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand. Bow! Oh, my God. Look at freaking... Freaking... Why am I talking like this? I don't understand. This is going to be... Oh, and that, yep, that right there. We beat the Toronto Maple Leafs. And finally, I can end this episode after 22 minutes of just me just with this monotone voice literally telling you what's going on when you can literally see it with crappy background music in the background. That's going to be the end of this, that's gonna be the end of this episode, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. Eat your veggies. Go to school. Take our films out. Peace. I don't know if I'll continue the series, to be honest with you. Uh, this might have been the last thing. It's just not that fun anymore, man. Uh, I'm excited for NHL 17. I just got burnt out on this game. All right, I played all 82 games, and I'm in the playoffs now, and it's just, it's just, bleh, it's just boring now, man. I, I don't know. Uh, I'll have to figure it out next year. Goodbye. Everybody.